Drop a like and subscribe in the next five seconds for a week of good luck. All right, what is good? What is happening? How's everybody doing today? My name is Chuck and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I want to tell you guys how to create the best possible M4A1 class setup for your situation in multiplayer and Warzone. I'm going to go in depth on everything you guys need to know about the M4A1 and how to make it the best for you. Before we get into that, if you guys could do me a favor and smash 200 likes on this video, that would be amazing. Really would appreciate that. And also, if you guys need some Call of Duty points on your account, make sure you guys drop a like on this video. Hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. Make sure you guys comment down in the comment section below. And seriously, there's like a large percentage of you guys, like 88, 89 percent that aren't yet subscribed to me that watch my videos seriously hit that subscribe button so as you guys can see we are here we got the monkey business m4 it's got like the cotton down my cam on it i got no attachments and i'm going to show you guys what to be able to run so the first thing i'm going to be putting on my gun is a muzzle and you're running a muzzle on both your uh, multiplayer setup and your war zone setup for now we're going to be doing a multiplayer setup at least for initially right here so and even though we're in multiplayer we're still going to be running a muzzle and you really just should more or less run anyways but we're not going to be running a breacher a flash guard a muzzle break light weight compensator we're putting on the monolithic suppressor this is just by far the best attachment to go on your muzzle period and honestly like if you're not running this on your m4a1 i don't really know what you're doing uh, but second we're actually going to be taking a look at the barrel so the barrel there's a variety of different things you can do here you have the 11.5 commando the stock m16 grenader the 14.5 tack light the corvus custom marksman and the fss 12.4 predator i'll tell you guys right now that you should never use the predator and really you should never use the 11.5 commando and realistically the 14.5 tack light really isn't that good either so you're gonna have two options between the stock m16 grenader barrel and the corvus custom marksman but because this is a multiplayer setup and we want just uh, we still want to have a little bit more mobility than we would with the stock m16 grenader barrel because you guys can see the mobility goes down we want to have the corvus custom marksman because it still gives us that range damage that bullet velocity and that recoil control so if you're playing multiplayer this is going to be a perfect attachment for you you should more or less stick to using a barrel like this so we're going to go ahead and add that and those are our first two attachments the monolithic and the corvus custom marksman for our under barrel because you will be running an under barrel guaranteed we can scroll down through here and there's a whole bunch of stuff yet your commando your merc your tactical your ranger your operator but I'm gonna tell you guys this right now. If we're gonna be playing some multiplayer, there's no real need for us to have a Merc foregrip on there. I mean, the hip fire, we don't really need our increased hip fire accuracy with this gun. Granted, it does give us some benefits, but it does slow it down on our mobility. So we're not gonna be running a Merc foregrip, and we will not be running a Ranger foregrip releasing on this thing either, or the operator. We're actually gonna be running the commando because this gives us a recoil stabilization, our aiming stability, you know, only just very so slightly hinders our movement speed which is basically what we want so if we add the command of foregrip on there, you guys can see all the different green plus sides that we got so far and we're actually looking really really good the next thing up here is we're gonna be running some um, ammunition which is actually gonna be you know in the terms of an extended mag you want to stay away completely from the nine millimeter para 32 round mag never ever use this seriously like for the love of god it's not useful don't use it i tried it out i made a video on it it's really not that great um and also the socom 10 round i don't know why this is even attachment like who's gonna use this it's 10 rounds in a magazine like and it's and i'm pretty sure it, it makes it like a, a semi-automatic or something like that anyways don't use it so we're left with two options here, which is going to be your 50 round magazine and your 60 round magazine. For me, this is kind of more or less like a personal preference, but I'm always going to be running the 60 round magazine. 60 round magazine, it's just, it's gas. Like it's an extra 10 bullets. It doesn't matter if it's multiplayer or Warzone. Like it's an extra 60, like it's an extra 10 rounds. So we have four tangents on here right now. And you guys can throw on, let's say, if you really wanted to, like a rear grip, you can throw on a perk, a stock attachment, an optic, a laser. There's a variety of different ways you can go with this. But because we're trying to increase our mobility here just a little bit, we're actually gonna do something a little bit interesting. We're gonna go to the stock category. So you guys see we have the M16 stock, the Singard Arms Invader, there's the no stock attachment, and then the Forge Tack, uh, CQS so we have all four of these options but I'm actually gonna choose the no stock attachment because as you guys can see this gives us a ridiculous increase in our mobility and this is kind of what we want if we're moving around multiplayer we got to be you know quick you got to be quick on the sticks you know on the mouse and keyboard whatever you want to call it I mean 
we just have to do that and this is going to allow us to be super quick super like efficient with our movement and we're also going to be beaming kids with you know the corvus custom marksman the model suppressor the commando is going to keep you under control like look at us look at all that accuracy look at all that range your mobility's down just ever so slightly but you're gaining a lot and not really losing a lot so this is a top tier multiplayer setup i mean shoot you really could take this in a war zone if you wanted to but now let's show you guys my war zone setup all right so now we're back we got this whole thing cleared and now let's show you guys my war zone setup before we show you some gameplay so now we actually have to take a look at the muzzle obviously like i said we're running the monolithic suppressor i don't really have to go too too much in depth on that i mean the monolithic suppressor is the best one in the game and now we're going to be checking out a barrel so you guys noticed last time i said don't ever use the 11.5 commando attack light or the predator one but we used the corvus custom marksman we had basically the two choices between the custom marksman and the m16 uh i called the grenader barrel the grenadier whatever the heck you want to call it i call it the m16 grenader barrel so we're probably going to end up using the m16 grenader barrel grenadier anyways you weren't end up using this one because this gives us a little bit more damage range bullet velocity and recoil control which is perfect for those longer range engagements that you're going to be facing in warzone that you would not see in multiplayer so we're going to choose this because that's going to ultimately help us control our gun and hit some more of those shots at range when we just didn't need that range in multiplayer we'd rather have the mobility so in warzone though we need that range Going down here to the under barrel, as you guys know, multiplayer, we chose the commando foregrip, but that's not necessarily going to be the case here. Because we're in war zone, we need to hit some more of those shots at long range. You're going to be like looking at it like, okay, Merc foregrip. Uh, we're not really going to be using the Merc foregrip. I mean, our mobility is already down low enough as is. We don't necessarily need to do that. There's a tactical foregrip. I've never even really used a tactical foregrip. Like, dude, I don't even know. Why, why, who even uses this thing? I don't think anybody even uses the tactical foregrip. Then you have your ranger foregrip and you have your operator foregrip. And I'll keep it up with you guys. We're using the ranger foregrip. The Ranger, I've been seeing a lot of pro players use this thing. The Ranger is just, it's really good. Honest to God, the Ranger foregrip is just really good. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that on there. And it's also gonna help out with, you know, basically our, it stabilizes the weapon for aiming for improved long range combat. What do you do in Warzone? Have long range combat. So basically we have our, our three attachments right here. And next up, obviously we can choose a variety of different things, but we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to, of course, add on a extended magazine. And you can choose 50 or 60 round magazine. But hey, you know what I choose? I choose the 60 round magazine because 60 bullets. I mean, you're coming up against multiple enemies, you know, in Warzone. And people tank shots like no tomorrow. They say you can have a max of 250 health. But I'll tell you what, it sometimes feels like they got like five, six, seven hundred 700 health with the amount of shots I put into people. So having that 60 rounds is incredibly incredibly beneficial seriously like it's it's just really good and so while last time we actually ended up going with a no stock attachment when we could have chosen an optic a laser a, you know a perk or a grip or something for my war zone setup to be complete we're actually going to go ahead and choose a rear grip because the iron sights on this m4 are amazing and you have a variety of different ones here you have the granulated stip tape the rubberized grip tape and the stippled grip tape i used to call it stipled stippled whatever you want to call it but basically we're going to be choosing the stipled grip tape stippled grip tape just because this gives us the aim round sight speed that sprint to fire speed and it really doesn't you know impact our control all that much we have great control at the range of foregrip you have great control at the m16 grenade barrel so we're putting on this the stippled stipled grip tape on this thing and this is an incredible war zone setup to be effective you're not going to be picking people off you know dummy far away you should probably have a sniper if you're going to go for that far range but i mean if you really want to you could swap out let's say this for an optic of some sort honestly about as much of an optic as i go for is something like a gi mini reflex i hardly ever use any other sort of scope i mean it's a very rare occasion but I more or less just stick to the, the stipple grip tape, and this is an amazing Warzone setup. Oh, not today, sir. Not today, you will not be pushing through here. Oh, oh my God, absolute laser beam so far. Absolute laser beam. Oh. I thought somebody was just out there. Wait, somebody was up here. Oh, what are you doing right there in the corner? Oh, what do you think you're doing either? Man. These people are going nuts over at B. Seriously, wait. You're down there. Nice. Yo, appreciate the UAV teammate. Seriously. Really do. You need to get over this side, though. Come 
Got you there. Wait, is that guy up top? I don't know where this other guy is, but these guys are definitely pushing into... Yep. He's trying to push up in here. No, oh, you will be dead as well. And let's see if we can get some of these guys that are going to be... What are you doing on the... Prone on the street? What was all that? We're going to call that in back, eh? Got you. Anybody else? They should all be coming from A side. Oh, there we go. You. Holy crap, we just got the advance. We got to hold off at least until... Uh... Okay, let's get that in. And let's get the advanced in. Nice. Thank you actually for that, dude. Really appreciate that. No! No! Got you. You again. I mean, these guys are all still back over by A, probably going into laundry or something. Yep, one was bottom laundry. Come on, peek out, peek out. Thank you. I told you guys this setup for multiplayer is really good. There we go. What are you camping in that corner for? Somebody's up in there. I'm going to try and push up on them. Throw a C4 in here. Nobody? Seriously? Nobody? Oh, thank you, teammate. Appreciate that. There we go. Number two. What do you think you're doing up here, dog? All right, we need to clear out this. We need to take control of top Grasna. Definitely need to do that. I'm probably still going to be spawning back A. Ooh, I don't know what you thought you were doing camping up top laundry. Guys love going to camp top laundry. They really do. Oh. Hello? I mean, I understand that. My dude was trying to get over that flag. Save it. Oh my god, dude. That guy's camping. Oh, we just got him? Oh, I had some weird aim assist right there. Why are people still camping in the bottom here? I mean, well, actually, I have some some streaks up, so I can't really blame them, but... We gotta go take advantage of this. Let's go take advantage of my streaks doing as much work as possible. Whoa! Bullet reg? Yo, bullet reg was just... Was not there for a while. I'm kind of streaking up, but it got, it's a little bit more towards the end of the game. Oh my god, bro! We're popping! Oh, I don't know what you think you're doing. Man, those guys are taking that. Ah, uh, I don't know if I can do that. We actually may even lose this. Get my support healer going. All right, let's go. Third advanced UAV of the game. Let's get these guys down below here. Really try and focus up and... Ah, oh, dude, that C4 really hit the window. Can't really do anything with that. Oh, dude, we are just going off. Oh, my God. We're still going? We're just going to push up and... Oh, <laughs> he came from around the corner. Oh, are we going to pull off and get the dub? It's possible. It's possible we may actually just come back and get that dub. Yo, actually, we're about to get the dub. Let's go, boys. Holy crap. We just, I think, pulled through for the team. And we dropped, we dropped 82 kills. 82. Absolutely demolished with this M4 setup. Told you guys. Told you guys. 82 and 8 with the God's Ear M4 setup that I gave you guys for multiplayer. I told you, it works. It works. Well, that's all I got for you guys here in today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys slap a like on it. Subscribe with those notifications turned on. Make sure you guys comment down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys back here again tomorrow with another brand new video. Thank you so much. Just Orange Gap, don't be Randy, and I'm out. Peace.